I'd like to take your stamp knowledge just a little bit further, being able to show you how to create your own custom dynamic stamp. I've got GCC annual report open from the previous exercise. If you look, I've got the comment and markup toolbar open. If you don't have that open, you can come under review and comment and open it. You look at the stamps right here. If you take a look in the right arrow, click on the right arrow, you're going to notice that there are dynamic stamps under here. Now, I've got a category called Brian. This is from the Essentials title. You may not have that. If you look under Dynamic, you're going to notice that there are stamps that actually have like date, time, and they pick it up and put whatever the date and time is. Now, I happen to have a date and time here. You can also see some of them have logins as well. You can create your own custom stamp that's dynamic, that picks this information up and puts it in there. Now, one quick thing I want to mention here, if you want to create a custom dynamic stamp, the thing is we've got to create ourselves a form text field to get this to work. If you're using Acrobat Standard, you don't have the forms tools available. Okay, so that may be something you need to consider before you continue. So what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a custom stamp. But first step is this. It's going to use a little JavaScript to get that dynamic to happen. So what I'd like to do is open up a little JavaScript so we can copy and paste. I've supplied you with just an example. So I've actually got it open right here. Now if you go into the Exercise Files folder in the Collaborate folder, you should see a PDF called FPO JavaScript. If for some reason you can't get this open, it's not working, we're, trying, we're going to copy paste this text. If it doesn't work, I've also put a Word doc and just a regular little text file in there that you can try and open as well. The whole idea is that we want to copy paste this JavaScript right here. This actually came from the dynamic stamps that come with an Acrobat. So I'm going to go to my text selection tool. I'm going to select this text right here. I will do a copy. And I'm going to go back over to the annual report. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create the stamp. We're going to use that JavaScript that I just copied and put it in the stamp. So come to the arrow, create custom stamp. Now I can see a picture in here because I already had it in there. You probably are going to see nothing in here unless this picks up the last stamp you made. Okay, so you're probably going to see nothing in here. We're going to go ahead and browse, click on browse, come into the collaborate folder, and you should notice that there's an FPO PDF in there. Go ahead and select that, and if you take a look, it should show you this stamp that looks something like this. You can create this from almost anywhere. It's a picture. I saved it as a PDF, but it gives you several options, several different file formats you can use. What I did, though, that was different about this stamp, is I actually made this in Illustrator. I made a little bit bigger box here so that we could put some custom information, some dynamic information down here. So I kind of set it up ahead of time. So then I say this is a PDF, and I just set it somewhere. Go ahead and click OK. What it's going to do is it's going to say, all right, we're going to create a custom stamp. We can make a category here. I'm actually going to type it directly in. You could also choose to put it in the dynamic category if you want to, but let's say this is Brian's Brian Dynamic. How about that? That way I can separate these out. You can give the stamp a name. I'll call FPO date or something like that. Downsample is going to make it a little bit smaller in file size. It helps a lot. Select image lets you go back and pick another picture. Go ahead and click OK. Now, we made a stamp. Okay. As a matter of fact, if I come out here and take a look, I should be able to see whatever dynamic, whatever you named it, and there's your stamp. Now, the only problem is it's not dynamic. Okay. All it does is put the picture on the page right now, so we need to make it dynamic. So the key is we have to open up the file that runs this. To do that on Windows, let me do this. I'm going to go to File Open. So Mac and Windows, let's go to File Open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my hard drive here, my computer. I'll give you the path on Windows, and I'll tell you what it is on Mac. So go to your hard drive, Documents and Settings, Your User Folder, the Application Data. Now here's the thing. This may be hidden, so you may need to go out to your operating system and show these hidden files. Open up Application Data, Adobe, uh, Acrobat, <laughs> this is a little deep, going into 8. It depends on the versions you have. I'm going to go into 8 here. And I should be able to see, if you look in here, a Stamps folder. Go ahead and double-click on Stamps. And we've got a couple different things in here. Now, you may have one thing in here, one file. When you make custom stamps, sometimes what it does is it actually, it'll make a PDF file in here, and this is where it draws your stamps from, whenever you make it your own custom stamps. Okay, so I'm going to try this one right here. If you just have one in there, just choose the one that you've got. Sometimes it's hard to recognize the names. I usually look at the modification dates to be able to tell, you know, which one this is. So I'll see. Let's see if this one's it. Go ahead and click Open. Now, on, on Mac, the path to get to that, go to your user folder, or whatever you're logged in as. I usually do Brian Wood. Go into the library folder. Then go into the Acrobat user data, and then go into 8.0, the folder, and then go into the stamps folder. And you should be able to see something similar to what I see. Now, you're probably not going to see the same string of characters, letters, numbers, etc. That's fine, okay? Go ahead and open up the PDF you see in there. And if you've made other custom stamps, you need to check and make sure it's the right one. 
So what I'll do is as soon as I open it up, I'll see probably nothing. I'm going to go show one page at a time. There's two pages to this thing. So I'll go to the second page, and lo and behold, there's my stamp. My point is, open the PDFs in that folder until you find the one that's got this in it. Our last thing here is to make a text field. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I already have the Forms toolbar open. What we'll do is this. Come up to your toolbars. If you right-click on them or Control-click on a Mac, you can come to Forms. You're not going to be able to do this in Standard. Standard does not have Forms tools inside of them. So as a dynamic stamp, you could copy-paste from something else, but we won't go there right now. So you'll be able to see right here you've got a text field. I'm going to take my text field. I'm going to draw out a text field out here. Just click and drag to draw it out. Let go. I'm going to name it. Go into general here. Now I haven't covered form fields yet, but we will do that in the, the forms exercise. I'll just call this FPO. That's fine. The only other thing is I'll go to options here and align the text to the center in the field. Okay, so align center. I'm going to come over to something called calculate, and we're going to use our JavaScript. Calculate. It's going to calculate the date, time, etc. for us. So I'm going to use a custom script. Click on edit to edit the script. We already copied it back a little while back there. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. If you get this out of order, you can always go to cancel, close, go back into the exercise files folder, open up the FPO JavaScript again, copy that, and then start this again. Click OK. And if you take a look, you should be able to see it automatically put the date and time in there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Your only thing you got to do here now is to save this file. Okay, you can do a file save as or save. I literally just usually do a save, file save. So do a file save. I just did it. Go ahead and close it up. So this is your stamp file. This is what Acrobat's going to draw from. Close up that file. Come back to your annual report or whatever page you have open. Take a look under your stamps. You should be able to see in your dynamic stamp folder now it does have that in there. So what's running this is a little text form field that has a little JavaScript to calculate the date and time. So I'll choose my stamp. Move this out of the way. I'll come out to my page, click, and you should be able to see the time date stamp out there. If I go ahead and select it, you can see it. It's an easy way to make a custom dynamic stamp. Like I said, you may have run into a hitch if you've got standard and you can't do forms. That's just one thing you got to look out for. But anyway, creating a custom dynamic stamp is something that's not too bad, and it's saved in here forever for us. Go ahead and close this up. You don't need to save it if you don't want to. And the next thing we're going to do is talk to how to export comments to Word from a PDF file.